This is genetics in 90 seconds, getting you ready for A-level biology. Okay, so DNA is the instruction code in your cells. It's packed into chromosomes, of which we have 23 pairs. You get one set from mum and one set from dad. A gene is a length of DNA that codes for a protein. Different versions of a gene are called alleles. Your genotype is the alleles that you have, like the code. Your phenotype is how these alleles manifest, as in what you see when you look at someone. Some alleles are dominant, which means they'll show it as one copy, and others are recessive, which means they need two copies to show. If both alleles match, we call them homozygous. They differ heterozygous. We use Punnett squares to help model inheritance. They help us to find the percent chance of offspring inheriting a certain characteristic. Now remember, they're just a probability and not a guarantee. How do we get variation? So this happens during sexual reproduction. Meiosis makes gametes, which are sperm and egg cells, with half the number of chromosomes, so they only have 23. Alleles are then shuffled during this process, and which gamete meets which is random. Fertilization, the full complement of 46 chromosomes is restored, and this new combination results in variation. This is why siblings from the same parents don't always look exactly the same. How is the sex of the offspring determined? So females typically have two X chromosomes, and males have an X and a Y. Some traits are sex-linked on the X chromosome, so they can appear more often in XY individuals. This is because they only have one X chromosome, so if it's carrying a recessive gene for a disorder, there's no second healthy copy to compensate. So that's GCSE genetics, and that is the last of our GCSE to A-level summer refreshers. If you found these helpful, please like and follow along for more A-level A-star tips and advice.